Tonight, a fire-filled crater where an apartment block once stood in the university town of Dnipro. An all-day barrage of Russian missiles striking mostly civilian targets throughout the country. In Dnipro, that nine-story apartment block taking a direct hit incinerated. And as the night went on, the urgency to find the missing intensified. This girl scared and stranded between the sixth and seventh floors, clutching her cell phone. Another young woman carrying her stuffed animal brought down to safety. One woman who said she lost her son shouting in grief, why did you kill him? Ukraine saying at least 12 people were killed, over 60 wounded, and there are still missing. Civilians and rescuers desperately searching for survivors in the buildings and the rubble nearby. Scaling ladders, moving cars and trees. As we arrived on the scene, rescuers scrambling over the still smoldering pile. The sheer magnitude of the site defies comprehension. There are hundreds of people working here on the debris. There's heavy machinery. You can see those cranes and right there on the pile. Six hours later, you can still see rescuers, first responders searching for the missing. Across the country, air raid sirens sounding all morning, including in Kromotorsk, where we were earlier. You can hear the sirens going off behind me right now. A short distance away in Solidar, the most intense fighting on the Eastern Front. Ukrainian soldiers digging fresh trenches.